back to my YouTube. So today I'm gonna be taking you on a trip around campus. So here we go. I'm just going up the stairs. I'll come back on when I'm when I'm back up the stairs. Okay, I'm about to go into the famous McGregor lobby. We always have RAs up here. And the thing, you'll say hi to my vlog. Hey. That's one of our RAs. I'm gonna take you on a, a behind the scenes tour of what campus looks like. This is the, that's the Combs building over there. It's where most of my classes will be once I get into my major. So yeah, next stop we're gonna hit up the historic ravine and King Johnson building. So I'll come back when I'm close to If you can see from there, that's the back of my residence hall, McGregor and stuff. And now we're about to come up to, this is King Johnson. I don't know if you can see it from there, but yeah, it's King Johnson. It's like where basically we have a lot of events sometimes. And now I'm gonna take you to the ravine area. The ravine is like a quiet, close, quiet place where you can like sometimes read or study or do stuff. So yeah, I gotta cross the street first. This is the ravine over here. Now you see, it's kind of like brownish because it's getting fall and it hasn't rained that much here either. So yeah. So yeah, let's go to the next area. Our next stop is we're gonna go, this is Case, our infamous dining hall. And so, I'm coming up to it right now, if you can see it. It's all the, it's the one with the glass doors and stuff. So yeah, there's the top, uh, there's two levels. The top is the, our dining hall, and then below is our, we have Chick-fil-A, Mo, and uh, Express, and, uh, uh, subway. So yeah, with all the glass doors and stuff. And then this building right up here is the Powell Student Center. It's actually right now under construction, under construction because they're renovating it and stuff. And so yeah, so I'll come back when I'm at the next destination. So inside of these doors we have Starbucks and. Uh, uh, steak and shake, but Starbucks is closed today because we have a boil water warning because the whole county is messed, water's messed up. And so, yeah, this is where Starbucks is and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put my drink and stuff and take my sweatshirt off. So, that's Starbucks for you guys. Next, we're gonna go to the Pal Plaza. It's like and on everything I'm going to show you around this. This is the historic fountain. Or fountain. And that's like a med meditation area. And, so, and stuff. And so yeah. Campus. Enjoying the campus beautiful. Wow it's still beautiful. Until it gets snowy. These are just um, like our memorial plaza. And stuff. Like we have stuff from like. People that have been in. Wars that have. Of our graduates of EKU. And so, yeah. Now over here is the historic Wallace building. I have two classes in there this semester. That's English and GSD. So, yeah. Oh, that sun is fucking bright. <laughs> See? Right over there, that's the thing. I'm about to cross the street to go check out some areas over there. That is Clay Hall over there. It's another one of our residence halls. Our mini residence halls. And stuff. Oh, what's behind me? That's Case. Still. I'm about to cross the street, so I'm going to pause my video and then start back up. So right over here is New Science. The New Science building. It's where most of our science classes will be. And that's the student health clinic over there. The clinic over there and so I actually haven't been this way so this is tall all new to me and stuff because I just stay in my little corner which is McGregor is like right in the center and I have Combs University and Wallace that's the uh, official Biggie Transit right there that just walked past yeah 
That's the rest of new science, which is where most all of our science buildings are. Practically, most of the science classes will most likely be in there. Now, overhead, I'm pretty sure this is south. I'm not too sure. It's either south or north. No way, I think this is south and the north is right next to it. So, yeah. I should have a campus map, but I don't have one. Because I wanted to explore campus on my own. So, yeah. Now, both of these dorms are mostly upperclassmen dorms. Freshmen don't really live in it. I know a few freshmen there in the north, but... I don't think there are any freshmen in South. Because it's mostly upper class now. There's several of my GSD class that are in North. There's the famous Biggie Transit. Now oh, this is North over here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's North. And stuff. And so that's like a super sweet. Or you can get super sweet or sweet style. And stuff. I prefer McGregor. <laughs> this is a cheaper dorm. Now over there is Telfort. It's closed right now for renovation, and next semester, uh, uh, next semester it will be open. And the people that are in King are moving to Telfort because they're closing King down for renovation. And so, yeah, I'm about to cross the street. Right over there is Waters. That's the same st style as McGregor. Just, I've heard it's a lot nicer, but McGregor's closer. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Waters over there. I know some people that name Waters. Not many. So, yeah, that's a quick, brief campus tour and stuff. So if y'all are any graduating high school seniors this year and y'all want to check it out, uh, be sure to, to apply for Eastern Kentucky University using the common application. And is it's a great place to be. Campus beautiful. That's what we call it. Just check out Eastern Kentucky University in the heart of Richmond, Kentucky. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to let you go because I'm going to walk back. This is over, that's a better view of Waters. Yeah, I'm going to walk back to my dorm. Oh, right over there is the BCM too. And so, yeah, I'm going to walk back to my dorm. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later.